Hi everyone, this is Hamza Shagur from Emirage.org and welcome to this new tutorial. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to process this image. So this is a shot I captured from Jurjura Mountains here in Algeria. And I'm going to show you how to post process this in raw therapy from this original image to that final result. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the original image. So the obvious problem here is the sky. But before fixing the problem, uh, I want to show you, like to give you a quick overview of raw therapy. So in short, raw therapy is a free and open source software that you can download for free from rawtherapy.com and is made of like non-destructive modules that are organized on those panels so you have basically like modules for adjusting your image exposure and lighting and modules to uh, like fix detail problems and noise uh, problems and also modules to uh, color correct your image or co color process uh, your image and also some advanced modules and geometry uh, modules to fix like geometry and perspective uh, issues and also the raw therapy or the raw core um, modules to pre-process your raw file and by the way those adjustments are uh, saved separately on a different file and want to affect your uh, like original raw file so the raw file won't, won't be uh, used directly or modified at all anyway so let's get back to the exposure uh, panel and start with this and by the way i've learned to use raw therapy just by uh, like uh, adjusting and trying it's like a trial and error process so i didn't take the time to read uh, about it in detail so um i wanted to uh, fix the um, the sky uh, exposure so for this enable the shadow and highlights module and hit on the title to uh, expand uh, the the panel you can restore your highlights by increasing this value as you can see the highlights are coming back but we have like an issue with our shadows you can increase the shadows too and you can play with this uh, parameter to adjust the contrast of the uh, highlights and the same thing goes for uh, the shadows too but what I found the most effective for sky adjustment is the graduated filler. So enable the graduated filler and uh, scroll down or um, open the graduated fil filter panel and then enable the widget to move on your widget and you can even rotate it to avoid affecting the uh, ground as much as possible. Also you can play with the strength value here to adjust like the uh, lightness of your sky um let's skip like things as uh, that and go back to the exposure uh mm -hmm. and go back to the exposure here and i want to uh, add some lightness to the overall image and some contrast too and this depends on your taste uh, actually so it's up to you to make the necessary adjustments and um, also um, there's an interesting filter in the detail uh, section which is the haze removal so it makes difference most of the time with landscape photos so just adjust the the value to your expectations so this is a difference you can turn turn on and off the um, uh, 
this module to see the to see the difference also you can show the depth ma ma map because you know um this can affect like different parts of your image uh like the foreground haze only and le let me disable this and see the difference so now it is affecting mostly the foreground so if you want to affect the background too and your sky sky you have to increase this value so this is the difference and also i've noticed that you can restore like a lot of detail using the tone, tone mapping um, module but keep in mind that this uh, like gives you a correct preview when it, you are zoomed uh, 100 percent so you have to zoom in to uh, 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 a real size of your image and then enable the tone mapping to get to get like a correct preview so i'm going to go to the uh, parameters of the tone mapping and reduce the edge stopping value to get like fine detailed um, uh, sh sharpness instead and you can reduce the overall parameter strength of the tone mapping so this is a difference it adds some detail to our uh, image uh, also in co colors you can play with the um, the temperature of your image once you uh, start adjusting the different values it automatically switches to the custom um, method so there's a bunch of presets uh, here you can like choose the uh, the settings that comes from the camera or the automatic one or go to something different uh, or use the custom uh, adjustment here so uh, i want to add some vibrance to uh, our image like here and also you can adjust curves i want to affect only the uh, lighting instead of the color so go to the red or green and uh, display the control cage and you can adjust it right here to to add like some highlights and you can like slide down this to have some contrast in your shadows so as you can see it started to look nice let's get back to the graduated filter and see if we by increasing the value this gives a better uh, result uh, for my uh, what i'm looking for i also want to try to move up this to reduce the effect on the um, so there's a big difference as you can see uh, don't forget to turn off the widget right here so uh, to add more contrast we can use the soft light module just keep it to something low I want to reduce the uh, vibrance color vibrance too uh, if you want to push things further you can color balance your image by either playing with this method or a different one so if you want like cooler colors you can uh, like switch to or move on move your your uh, point here to uh, cooler blues and see the difference by turning on and off or you can like switch to the color balance shadows midtone highlights classic method and play with the shadows alone for example here and let's play with the mid midtones so you have a bunch bunch of parameters and settings you can see the difference and i suggest you to like save some snapshots because this is like it's not like corrections or like exact science but a matter of your t 
taste. So it's pr preferably try to capture some snapshots here and do comparisons. For example, let's uh, try this the the other method and, um, and capture another uh, like snapshot and try this. Uh, it's turned sorry it's it was turned off. So try this method to and see by yourself which one is good for you. So let's turn it on for this. Okay. So this is the how it was. Let me de delete. Okay. And delete delete this one. So here here you can see the difference. And uh, as a matter of uh, taste, uh, I prefer this one instead. And uh, now let's try to clean our image. So when you zoom in, especially on the sky, you see like the noise on the sky. And I always like to keep the sky clean. So I'm going to use the noise reduction uh, module. But you have to increase the luminance value. So you start to see the noise clean up uh, quickly, but there's a problem. So if you go to the uh, landscape area, you see that you have lost a lot of details. So to recover the details, use the detail recovery uh, slider and increase it to something like uh, 91 or above 90% percent if it's a percentage i'm not sure and you see that there's some kind of cleanup without uh losing too much detail and um, let's see the difference between the sky before and after let's increase the uh, noise cleanup uh, luminance value and see the difference so I think it's a good balance between detail and noise reduction. So I'm going to keep the those settings as that. And um, um, the rest is up to you. So basically, this is um, the settings I'm using usually with my landscapes. I hope that you've learned something useful and if you want to support uh, my channel and further tutorials you can download this image the raw one and the um, uh, bra therapy profile I've used in this image uh, from the link in the description. Thank you so much for your support and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.